Hi, I'm Felix Pastorius, and you're watching ForBassPlayersOnly.com. I've interviewed your cousin David a couple of times, and I said, you know, you're a bass player, and your name is Pastorius. Does that bring any, any challenges or difficulties? Um, I could say the same about you, but you were not Jocko's nephew. You were Jocko's son, and you played the bass. Does that bring any, uh, do, you, do you ever think about that or what people are going to be expecting a lot from me or, you know, anything like that? How do you think about that or approach it, if at all? It's difficult uh, in some situations uh, it, in terms of um, expectation because of uh, uh, the pressure I put on myself, though, because I, it's it's because uh, I respect the instrument, I respect my father, I respect the name, I respect other bassists, I respect m music in general. So I don't want to do anything that seems like I am in any way trying to take advantage or use use an advent you know an advantageous name or position. Um, but at the same time, uh, I think it's uh, I think it's natural to be com to be compared to great musicians. Um, it's um, maybe unfortunate that my father was the greatest in some aspects, but I think uh, most bass players, and I, I take it as a compliment as well, most bass players, regardless of who their father was, uh, will be compared to my father at some point, if depending on their, you know, how they graduate into this this realm of, uh, uh, you know, bass stars. You know, there's a, there's a whole bunch nowadays, way more than ever. You know, so. Well, he he truly was the greatest. Uh, let's talk about your equipment. What are you playing these days? Uh, I have a F Federa six string um, that I, I designed with the guys. Uh, it, I um, I needed a bass. I was borrowing a bass when I got the Yellow Jackets gig uh, when when I was with them for three years. So they 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 said you must have your own instrument. <laughs> Excuse me. Why didn't you have a bass of your own? I uh, I lost the bass and I had moved from California. <laughs> And I had stuff in Florida, and I had stuff in California, but I really didn't know where any of it was, and uh, I, just circumstantial. I was in the process of also, I, you know, when I got the Yellow Jackets gig, I was in New York, and I was trying to make a career out of music. It's been, you know, it's this was only four or five years ago. You know, it's been a, it's been a long, gradual process for me. Uh, uh, to become uh, a musician because again I respect the whole process I respect the you know I, I believe in in uh, you know paying your dues and and going through the going through uh, the process of, of playing difficult gigs and, and learning music you know I never went to school so I'm constantly trying to teach myself and get at least a par at, with some of the other musicians out there um, so uh, you know uh, I needed only one instrument I, I was fortunate En enough to have a Federa uh, lent to me by a good friend of mine, Mike, Mike Bendy, who's another great bassist from New York, and uh, he had a Federa five-string, 33-inch uh, scale, so I kind of started playing that a lot when the Yellow Jackets asked me to join the group, and I played I played the first eight months, I think, with um, with that bass, and, and but the uh, uh, my six-string came later that year, through Federa, so uh, because of the comfortability and what I was doing on that instrument, I, uh, it's a 33-inch six-string, uh, and um, yeah, they make a great bass. How about amps? What, what yeah. kind of amps do you use? Well, it's uh, Aguilar, which is also the pickups I have in the, in my uh, Federa. Uh, my my around town uh, amp is uh, the which is great for for gigging around New York uh, is the uh, Tone Hammer 500 and the two SL-112s, which, you know, they kind of pretty much nailed it and uh, knocked it out of the park with that. That combination is quite unreal for uh, for the size and the weight of what you can get out of it. Um, How about strings? I am using the Super Brights by uh, Dunlop right now. Uh, uh, unbelievable tone, uh, lasts much longer than, uh, than I would have ever expected from a string uh, you know a lot of strings sometimes will uh, uh, 
immediately like almost overnight you know die on you and it's like what happened they sounded great last night you know uh these strings uh, they gradually uh sound and it's not like they even actually get really terrible i i actually like it when they're even beat up so uh it's a great string uh lasts long and has amazing tone how about effects i also use uh, dunlop stuff mxr uh, pedals and um some Aguilar pedals as well. They have a, a fun lineup that they've been adding to recently uh, and some electro harmonics as well. Well, how about the future, Felix? I think you've uh, you've, you've certainly paid some dues. Uh, you, you had an awfully high bar set for you with your last name and everything else, the gig with the yellow jackets and the other stuff that you've done. How about the future? You are still quite young, and obviously you have a lot of energy and enthusiasm. Uh, what, what are you working on now, and what do you hope to do in the future? Well, I have a, um, I have a quartet in, uh, in New York that I started writing with... Um, and trying to focus on taking out more recently. I have a couple bands in New York, but you know, being uh, being at the age that I am now, thank you for for saying that I'm young. But I am. You're tall, also. Yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? Six five, six six, something like that. Um, <laughs> but I'm also at the age where most of uh, my friends and peers and, and the musicians that I I play with are getting married and having children and things like this. So real jobs are definitely in you know maybe more of an option for for some of these guys no don't say no 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 i mean or or, yeah for them yeah yeah no well i mean it depends on the situation obviously you know some some music can be considered a real job too i guess depending on but anyways um it's uh there's a quartet uh social experiment that uh i started about three or four years ago uh and uh i'm gonna be hopefully i might take the band out a couple times this year uh, but um, I'll uh, I'll be focusing on trying to do something next year with them. Um, uh, I also have some some gigs coming up for um, my father's documentary uh, that I'll be bringing out the uh, Hipster Assassins group, which is also new. glad you mentioned that. Just uh, on a tangent here, I interviewed Robert Trujillo. Uh, as a matter of fact, he sat in that very chair okay. and he told me all about the Jocko documentary okay. and he poured so much of his heart and soul into it. I think it turned out to be a little bigger than he had <laughs> originally envisioned, but uh, that was a, a long time coming and that is a very exciting project. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's extremely exciting. It's been something that's uh been in in the back of our minds for a long time as far as you know the family and wanting to have uh, something that represents our father uh in in his likeness and in his spirit you know and uh having having robert uh be diligent enough to deal deal with this family and and our needs and our wants and uh allow us to be involved um and you know you know it's a group effort you know we're we're working off each other uh, it's been a great process, and, and Robert's, uh, Robert's been amazing, a huge gift to the family in terms of uh, his, his uh, you know. Uh, Returning the, the, the base of doom to the family. To the family. Yeah. And then wanting to immediately after that jump on this idea of doing a documentary and a movie. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a long, somewhat long process, but it's worth it. You know, it's been a long time, you know. Sure long time coming so last question Felix what would you be if you weren't a bass player it's something outside of music uh, wow that's a good question um, I really enjoy uh, I enjoy being athletic I enjoy being active I think that's one thing that m- most musicians um, especially ones that have endured a long a long career um, they have something that keeps them moving and keeps them going outside of out of music. Uh, play basketball. Yes, there you go. Basketball. I uh, I played a bunch of softball this summer. Some softball leagues in Central Park. Uh, I I play whatever is possible and whatever is available during. You know, being also a Floridian that lives in New York now, it's not a year-round thing that I used to be able to do as a kid. So now you have to kind of find find specific things for for certain times of the year. I think you've got something backwards. Most people go from New York to Florida. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely be going back there uh, at some point. Uh, but New York is is the spot for me. Um, but I also like photography a lot. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, great. Well, Felix Pastorius, what a pleasure and what an honor catching, getting to know you and yeah. uh, hearing the great stuff in, in a way that only you can tell it. Thank you. I'm glad this finally happened. I know I met you two years ago at the Detroit uh, Jazz, Jazz Festival Fest. yeah. with the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I'm glad we finally got to do this. Well, me too. Thanks great. very much. I'm John Liebman. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Thank you.